my bad, go. guys. Yeah. I'm... <clears throat> no one's ever sat in these chairs before. Oh, it feels good. Does it feel good? To be honest. Are you comfy? Yeah, I'm comfy. But to be honest, like, I <laughs> might fart in this chair. So, oh. like. I mean, you're shooting it that way, so. Oh, just. You should be. Well, also, I want to okay. get a good angle for the camera right there. So. Oh, boy. Yeah, okay, guys. Just this is. Make sure that my, you know, thighs are looking good. Dude, welcome. Okay, I'm pulling these back. Welcome up. to the pot. Oh, do I need to roll this down? Okay, Thank guys. You, bro. To be honest, I don't know when this is coming out in the realm of it all, but. This is our first time. This is the and first, you're the first recording. guess. Yeah. Thank you, bro. How do you feel? Dude, I feel honestly, it is quite <laughs> the honor. Yeah? Yeah. Dude, I'm glad you said yes. Also, we got Seb off camera over here. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got a lot of power in that little microphone. Yeah. You also, know? no free sponsors. Boom. Boom, baby. Also, I didn't look. Does this flatten my hair? Do I look weird? I should have wore a hat. No, you're fine. I'm ready. You're good. Bro, I don't know. Okay, so this is brighter you, side. You look great. Yeah? Yeah. Dude, you look great. You look like you're on the brighter side. Whoa. It, and it is pretty bright in here. It is. I would say. Your lighting setup is pretty legit. I'm about to like cop these. Dude, you, let's you actually need go. To send me, like, Amazon. Affiliate link. Dump. No, I don't know. No sponsors. No sponsors. <laughs> um, Welcome to brighter side. Thank you for being here. This is Thank you for having Gabriel. Me. Conti. I call you Gabe. Gabe is a YouTuber, <laughs> freelancer. <laughs> what are you laughing at over there? He's a YouTuber. He's, just, he's a YouTuber. What else do you do? He's a <laughs> husband and a confidant. And, and, and recent ish father. Recent father. I mean, nine months ago, so it's like not that recent. I mean, that's your, your legit father. Yeah, I'm a dad. Point. I'm a daddy. How's it feel? Um, How's it feel to be an actual daddy? I feel like every few weeks, there's new feelings that change really? and adapt. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. The first thing that was really weird is I had to, this is, and this is getting kind of like deep because I had to like process my thoughts Yeah. on like fatherhood, like in the moment. Well, yeah, that's wild. That's a, that's a whole new everything. That's, yeah. that's wild. It's very bizarre. So yeah. I was like, oh yeah, I'm having a daughter. Like this is going to be, it's going to feel like a member of my family. Yeah. And then like when she was born, mm -hmm. it was, it was very bizarre. It felt like meeting a stranger for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Cause yeah, you don't even know what they look like. You yeah. Don't yeah. Know. Very bizarre. We didn't even yeah. know her name yet. Cause we didn't choose her name until after she was born. Really? Yeah. I mean, I we had know, a, did yeah, you know that? No, I, I didn't know that at all. Yeah. I'm as shocked as you are. Yeah. 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 We had a few names mm -hmm. like ready. We were like, we like these, but we wanted to meet her first to be like, oh, this is, and yeah. Makaya is obviously her name, yeah. but, um, we, she was born. And then I was, I don't know. I, I was like, man, I'm meeting a stranger for the first time. This yeah. is very weird. Like I, I felt like she sh should feel like she's my daughter right away. Yeah. Cause obviously I haven't had a child before, so I don't know what it's like to be a dad. Yeah. But then also I, what I realized was every single member of my family, obviously to a certain extent, cause I have like younger siblings and stuff, but every yeah. single mem member of my family have just always like pre-existed for me. They were always oh, there. That's true. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just always have known them your whole life. Yeah. So there was never like a moment. Other than like when my younger siblings were born, but that's mm. still like too far. I was yeah. too young to kind of like process at this level. Yeah. Um, th that I have never had a member of my family that I was meeting for the first time. Yeah. That's wild. So she yeah. came out and you're just like, yeah. Hey, you're mine now. Yeah. That's, it's really bizarre. Cause even like Jess, right? Jess, yeah. obviously like I met her as an adult. Yeah. But by the time we were family, we were already in love and very close. Yeah. Whereas like with a daughter, it's like, oh, you're my daughter and you're living in my house. And I just like met you for the first yeah, time. Yeah, that's pretty wild. Cause yeah, even, it's like, very bizarre. It was a very bizarre feeling. Even yeah. meeting Jess, like she has Instagram. You could scroll back, see her pictures, see yeah, her different man. scenarios. This is a brand new human. That's wild. Yeah, yeah. It is crazy. It is crazy. But <clears throat> <laughs> it's the mic. You hear that? That's a mic. Oh, the mic. We'll, hey, we'll get that fixed. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate Sorry it. about that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm I'm starting off. I watch Sadie Robertson Huff, her podcast. She asks a question. Shout out at the very beat. Yeah, shout out, shout out. I know you're watching, Sadie. Um, What's up? <laughs> she she asks a question at the beginning of every podcast to her people, and I love it. I think it's a cool way to start it off. And with brighter side, it's all about the good vibes and like all this. Bro. Dude, let's get it. Dude. That was a brighter oh. side handshake. Um, so I'm gonna ask you. Mm -hmm. The question that we're going to start every podcast with, mm -hmm. what's your happiest memory? Wow. Take us there. What is it? What's your happiest 
memory. My happiest memory. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's just flooding with joy right now. <laughs> it's very hard to like nail one yeah. down, I think. What's like uh, one that you want to like, like, that's like you remember is like, I feel so happy right now. Like, yeah, honestly, like recent memory was probably, and, and it's not necessarily a specific like moment memory, but it's yeah. more so like the feeling within a season. Yeah. And it's like currently what I'm having now after moving to Tennessee and yeah. just really being in a place with like my wife and I are nowhere we are supposed to be here. And this is like God just put us here and this is where it's our life is kind of like where we're putting down roots and stuff like yeah. that. And it's been going so well. It's the place where it has felt Let's like go. home the fastest. Um, just we're so happy there. We have so many good friends there. Not you guys, other friends. Yeah, we're <laughs> we're for sure. You guys are there, in the so past. that's that's we're weird. Useless. See, that's we're not in his happiest time. No, in his dude. happiest memory. <laughs> not at all. We're in his like <laughs> shady dark dark time. Okay. Would you call it? Okay, With to us? be fair, his honest, worst times. <laughs> you want to know? Since I'm a dad now, when I wake up at freaking five in the morning, <laughs> yeah, we're driving around waiting for you guys to wake up at ten a.m. We're tired. I don't know what to do. We're, we Jess have and I lives are driving. Too. Sorry. Seb, you're not even on the podcast. I'm sorry. Put the mic down. <laughs> I'll be sorry. Yeah. He's like this waiting. <laughs> hey. No, I'm not. You I'm hear not his little waiting. on and off. I keep his wait, little do, on and off. Do you hear his on and off? Yeah, you're <laughs> Yay! Oh yeah, <laughs> What are you? All right, see ya. <laughs> okay, so we're in your dark times and then now it's your happiest. No. We just every time anyone says something happy, we're like, what about us? <laughs> Can just I just it. bring this back to the brighter side a little bit? Yes. Yeah, we went a little darker side for a right second. There. Um, this morning I'm driving around and we went and while we were waiting for you guys to wake up, mm -hmm. we went and ate breakfast and then we were just driving around to see, to like visit our, the old places that Jess and I used to live yeah. in here in LA. Yeah. And it was like really sentimental actually like oh, yeah. being like, man, we have, we have such good memories of our time here in LA and the places we lived. Mm -hmm. when I, we went to the, the first place I moved into. Yeah. Like my first place That's ever. That's always weird going back, huh? Cause Bro, you're like, you, especially like right when you come to LA, cause everyone has like an LA story. Mm -hmm. Right when you come to LA, you have like your first place and you're just like, when you go back to it now, it's just a wild like journey to right now. Yeah. And you just kind of like relive how you got to this point mm -hmm. and it like started there. And that's just like a weird thing to like, bro, go back it was like think eight about. years ago, dude. Yeah. Like in a few months, it will that's, be eight years ago that I moved into that place. Don't you feel like it doesn't feel like eight years or do you feel like, I mean, a lot no, of stuff has happened. It, it doesn't, but it also feels like it, it doesn't feel like eight years. It feels shorter, but then it also yeah. feels like it's only been three years since we left. That's and pretty it, crazy. I would say like, if someone asked me, I'd be like, oh, they left like last year. Like time's moving but so fast. It's moving so fast. But the thing is, is when we come back, yeah. the, as more time passes, it we feel way less, not connected. Because like emo there's obviously the emotional connection of our, like our memories here and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But it feels way more like euphoric. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like if you were to go to like a crazy childhood home that you like haven't seen in 15 years and yeah. all of a sudden you're back, you're like, whoa, this is really weird. It feels like that. Does it make you be like, oh, I wish I went back to that place? Um, like I want to move back into my last place in LA or is it just like, ah, it's okay. It'd be fun for <laughs> yeah. a month. <laughs> well, no, yeah. Especially well, listen, like that you love so your much, new spot. Yeah. yeah. And there's so, so there's like so much space in Tennessee and it's yeah. so nice there. Like yeah. in Nashville. And I'm like, Oh my gosh. It's like, it's yeah, good. They, now I drive around here and I'm like, <laughs> I was literally driving and I'm just in my head. I'm like looking at the road. And I'm like, man, these roads. Suck. Well, yeah. Isn't it weird? Like once you go to like a normal place out in the world, there's just land. Yeah. And there's it's like bizarre. parking lots. And then you come to LA and everything's just stacked. I forgot like, boom, boom, how boom, boom, congested boom. it was. Yeah. There's like yeah. no parking. I don't know. It's, it's different. Yeah. That's why I, I had to drive on Seb's e bike here and straddle on the back of him. That's true. All the way to your place. I saw a video of them. Uh, yeah. Just hip, hip to hip. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 hip to hip. <laughs> there. Yeah. You guys are hip to hip. Yeah. Connected at the hips. Hilarious. That's if you want to see it, it's on my Instagram story. Well, not anymore, but you should still follow it. Yeah. It's in, did you like put it to your, what's it called? The main memory thing? What's it called on Instagram? What? Where you like save it forever and you put in the little bubble. Oh, like, your highlights? Highlights. Yeah. No, no, no. I should do that. Call it hip to hip. Hip to hip with Seb. Bro, we should start what? a podcast called hip to hip. <laughs> hip to hip. And then, yeah, no, you, guys are just like, you guys are just like that. Look at the oh cameras. Oh my gosh. Bro, did you hear that? It's loud. Concrete floors, people. Bro, that sounds like a basketball court. 
I could put a basketball hoop in here. Honestly, that would be sick. That so, would be cool. So actually. whenever you like say a roast, it's like, bro, you just dunked on these fools, and then they can put <laughs> a dunk in the basketball hoop. That's true. Yeah. There's a lot of options. I like it. You're welcome. Okay, I do have a question for you. Yeah. I mean, you're known, I would say, for a lot of things. <clears throat> but one of them sure. being your relationship. <laughs> mm-hmm. So me being a single guy. I was going to ask you about that. How's that going? Being single? Horrible. <laughs> what do you mean, how's it going? <laughs> well, how else could it be? It's the worst. What are you talking about? So I was going to say, I mean, what? Oh my gosh. You're married. You've been married for how long? Uh, six and a half years. Okay, six and a half. The fact that he knows the half knows that he's doing things right. He's not just saying six. Well, he's going precise. It's it's December every year. So I know if I'm like halfway through the year. That's pretty good. You know, it's not like yeah. a, a weird month. Okay, so you know? what would you say is wrong with me? <laughs> um. Okay, so am I, whoa, I'm, whoa, are you like? Do I have I to diagnose like, you right now? Well, I thought you were gonna quickly say nothing. But you're oh, like, oh, oh. I have a list. Well. You have like a list going or something in your head. Okay. <laughs> hey, I asked it. What? Yeah, what's wrong? Do you with bring me? me on here to lie? I'm, or <laughs> I'm single. You're married. Mm-hmm. What's? What do you think? What do? I, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing right? Hmm. The the do list want, might like, be longer. Do you want like for a for the wrong? Do you want like a me to actually like try and deep dive on what do you where think? the issue could be? What do you or? think? What am I doing? What should I do? What do I do? Come to Tennessee and you'll have a much better <laughs> availability of probably available Christian women who are. Oh. <laughs> well, bro, that's. Do you want me to? Uh, no, that makes sense. Tell the truth. Listen, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm being real. Okay. LA is very like it's a very transitory place. People come in, people leave. That's it's in very and out, true. So it's hard Har- to like. Hardly any people. That you know here are from here. They're coming in now. They're here for two years. They're out. They're here for five years. They're out. Yeah, and it's yeah. hard to like find people who were you know like a place where you people grow up together. It's like you're meeting their family, you're just spending time with each other, and it's like a different dynamic of like that's very being, different. Yeah, being able to build not just a relationship with the person, but with the world of the person as well. Yeah, you know what I mean. You so, know what I've, I I did notice. We have some friends in Orange County, which is like. 40, 50 miles down, oh. they have like, go look in Orange County, but they've been like, they've been there for like their whole life. We're like over here. There's a lot more people that are just randomly. They came here in their twenties yeah, yeah. or whatever, but like over there, there's people that are like lifelong friends. And it's such a oh, different seers. vibe because we went to like a church once and we got invited to this thing and everyone just knew each other. They grew up together. Like they go to each other's houses and like have dinner and they know each other's families and like, that's normal, but being so removed from it for so long, I was like, whoa, that's just different because yeah. no one, no one's family is here pretty much. Mm. And like, that's like a big thing of like, even like the friends, like everyone's friends here, are like within the last few years, pretty much because you don't grow up together here. And so that, that is a big thing mm-hmm. and it's noticeable and, and there's not a lot of it in LA. Yeah. And so you're saying that's an important aspect to like, I'm saying that's see probably someone's world. your problem. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to like throw a random dart at the dartboard, yeah. that's probably the one that lands. I mean, yeah, that's that's a good thing. You what know what I mean? Say, Sam. No, I was it's just gonna say, but you do learn how to like become friends, like family with friends out here in LA. Is Seb's mic that's like true. wildly loud? Oh, it's my voice. It's so loud. It's but anyways, okay. you, do, just turn it. you do on. learn. Let me do you a favor. Yeah, we got you. For, even for <laughs> us. <laughs> what the heck? You just turned mine down. <laughs> I don't even talk. There you I, go. We're good. You just cut the whole scene to make me say? think that I'm actually talking, but what you just you, cut it out. What do you say? No, I just feel like for us three, we've learned to become family out here. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, there's a lot of, yeah, I think friendships in LA, yeah, there's some really deep ones. Because like, I think deep, deep outside of LA is because they've been together for their whole lives and they've grown up and they know each other's family. Deep over here in LA people it's because like we don't have our families here so we have to have like our connections Mm -hmm. and like you know and I feel like with us we've all gone that route of like being deeper connected friends Mm -hmm. because you know you're from Florida originally I'm from New Mexico you're from New York we just don't have our family here yeah that's wild yeah wow okay so I don't know this is gonna get this deep you're saying that's what's wrong with me that's it so that's um, good. That's no like really, really like red 
Red flag markers. I mean, uh, do you want me to? Li- so you want me to <laughs> say something that's actually <laughs> like what? Do you want me to say something that's actually wrong with you? Give what it you to think? him. What do you think? Or not what's wrong with me, but like, what is there? Maybe some tips, some like things I can try that I'm not trying. <laughs> huh. Oh boy. Cause like I. Do you want me to? Do you want me to go like full real? <laughs> Oh my god! Do you want me to go full <laughs> real right now? I guess it's what we're well, doing. No, no. Are these recording? We've talked yeah. about this. We've we've talked about this before. Yeah. Okay. What are we? We're. This is the point of the podcast. Get a little more personal. Know each other a little more. What are you about to say? <laughs> <laughs> and nervous, we cut dude. to commercial, and this never airs. Okay. What? what go are you all saying? guns blazing. Oh all guns god. blazing. He's like over there, like no, no, wanting no, 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 no. me. No, no, no. He wants blood. No, dude. We've, we've <laughs> talked about this before. Okay. What? This is more goes into like content strategy but it plays into it we're like if you're to meet someone yeah like you would probably be more likely to meet someone i say even out of la right yeah and that relationship starts to like grow a lot of um i feel like your achilles heel it's also the strength of your content but it's also the achilles heel of your content yeah is that it's all based around this friend group that you have yeah right yeah, yeah so yeah. like it the content is based around this friend group and it's what makes it amazing. That's true. But then it also makes it very hard to separate yourself. If in the scenario that you're going to have a relationship and you're going to move somewhere else to Mm -hmm. like be with this person or whatever it may be, or even spend less time, not with a friend group, but I guess like, you know what I mean? Like Mm. there's just like scenarios where that might play into you not being able to fully detach in the scenario where you find yeah, out. Yeah, my, my, you know I mean? my content, my work, my job is pretty much like, yeah, my life within my friends. Yeah. Because that's just like what it's turned into. Because I started the vlogs when I moved to LA, mm-hmm. which was just, I'm going to vlog my life. And then my life just turned into houses with friends, friend groups. It just naturally went that direction. Mm-hmm. And then that's what people started to like see my stuff as because that's what I was putting out. Yeah. So yeah, that, that makes sense. You know? So yeah. anyway, that's not really something wrong with you. It's just like, let's go. We'll, tough... we'll keep that in. Just kidding. Well, it is in. Yeah. Also, you should probably, Oh, oh there's an also pray harder. Do it for, I, <laughs> you're like, I, I've been praying I have. so hard for I the have. last 35 I, years. I have. I've prayed with Bob, dude. I've, we've prayed <laughs> yeah. together. I've had other people we've had lay their hands upon Upon me in prayer. And it goes off of this last question. Mm. What's it like to be married? What's it like to be married? I've never been married. Well, it's awesome. Like there might be a lot of single people out there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What's it feel like? Like, what's it feel like? What is it? Dude. I mean, well, having sex every day for six and a half years (laughs) straight is like insane. Okay. (laughs) No. (laughs) I can already see Jess rolling her eyes. like, Gabriel. She's like, Bob. (laughs) Um, It's. Dude, how, how do I answer this? Wow. I mean, there, it's there's probably a lot of aspects to it, but like, how is it like for a person that's never experienced marriage and like the single people out there, like, I'm sure it's a whole different life. Yeah. I guess in the, in to answer how it's like different from being single. Yeah. It's, um, it makes you grow yeah. a lot because you are now not worried about yourself. You're always having to consider someone else's time schedule, whatever it may be, their feelings, like yeah. everything about like what you do mm-hmm. also revolves around someone else's entire being. Is that like a tough transition to go from not doing that to doing that? Or is it, yeah. is it kind of in a way of like, I want to, so it's okay. Yeah, no, you want to. Um, but it, For me, it wasn't, I don't think it was too hard because I grew up like there were, I grew up in a family of six people, my parents and then me and my three siblings. And then, um, but we were like in a three bedroom apartment. So Mm -hmm. I was always sharing a room. Yeah. My first consideration was the place that I talked about here in LA. That was the first place I moved into was the first time at 20, at 20 years old that I ever had my own bedroom. Oh, dang. In, in that sort of thing. And like, I shared a cell phone with my brother. I shared a car with my brother. So like, I kind of always had this. And that's good. Cause there's some people that just considerations of very hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like thing to, 
it's hard, it's a hard thing to it's probably a hard thing to get used to if you've never like had yeah. to do it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um so anyway, like that's very different and then now with like a baby, yeah. It's like that on steroids. That's it's, wild. It's pretty bonkers how like your your time is just not yours anymore. Cuz like if you're adults, yeah. It's like you can, you know, it's like, "Hey, I want to go to the gym." Okay, cool. Yeah. You, hang out and read and I'll see that's what I'm worried about. I'm, I'm living too much of my life, which I'm thankful to be alive, but like I'm living too much of my life, but you're not doing that. You're (laughs) You're getting up there. That's going to be a, it's going to be a, a big change because I've lived so much like, like you still feel like you though. Right. Yeah. Like even doing all that stuff, do you still have not single you in you in the sense of like other stuff, but just like who you were when you're right now, you know, hanging out with the boys. Just yeah, like having true. having time that's like away from yeah like when you know it, so that stuff doesn't change it doesn't change if you're with someone who embraces like yeah your interests and likes like, and doesn't want to change them hang out yeah go hang like with the Jess hasn't tried to change me wanting to play video games not that I'd like do that uh, don't really have time for that as a dad right now yeah I mean I could but it's just it's rough out there sometimes yeah but like me buying Legos she doesn't yeah. think of that as like an immature thing. She's like, Oh, he loves collecting star Wars Legos. That's dope. Yeah. So like, cool. You know what I mean? That's it, good. Yeah. Where there's like things that like some girls may be like, Oh my gosh, you really, you're going to buy Legos. Like what are you 12? You know what I mean? And like yeah. look down on certain things like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. And vice versa too. With like, I know that's a big thing with like video games. Like girls just don't want their guys to be playing video games just yeah. for whatever reason. And so I think like, if there's like probably a good balance, then it's probably more on the good side of like, Oh, that's not all you're doing. Yeah. I mean, if it's yeah. something that's, a health like oh i play video games with the boys like a few times a week yeah for like an hour or two it's yeah. like oh okay that's cool rather than you're draining every night and you're not spending time with your wife because you're playing with a you know you're dropping down with the boys yeah. on cod <laughs> no 100%. something like that so what so okay you, we kind of already said at the beginning too like how and right now how's it like being married how's it like having a baby it Bro, cha- you're saying it's changing every so often it's wild because especially in the first year there's so many changes happen yeah like for a period of time you're not getting full nights of sleep mm. that's like specifically, when i got a specific, puppy when i got a puppy i couldn't sleep the honestly night. i'm gonna be fair it's pretty similar but just way more at stake <laughs> yeah it's pretty similar in the sense that like you're exhausted for a period of time yeah but the the thing is with a puppy it's like within like a few months it's like you're kind of yeah done you're good ish. to go yeah we're like you're that just continues forever. you're working on yeah a, a baby's like it goes from from That's the, like, the yeah. not sleeping then it's like sleep training and now it's like she's crawling around so yeah. you just have to be watching her all the time and then yeah. it's just gonna go from stage to stage to stage yeah and I mean it's gonna get to a point where you're like needing to say no and and yeah you know training them and. You know, it's, it's just like it's such a different lifestyle than just like, yeah, singleness. It makes you think so far out in the future of of. I don't know. I really like thinking it of as of I'm not just trying to train. Uh, uh, I'm not just raising a well behaved child. Mm-hmm. I am trying to raise competent adult. Yeah, or competent adults, if in plural sense. Yeah, yeah. If and when we have more kids, but yeah, that's... um, yeah, just like really thinking down the line of like, who do I want my child to be as, who do I want Makai to be as a woman? Like, mm-hmm. what am I gonna actually do now to make sure that that, dang, yeah, and that's that's reality. good. I feel like a lot of people probably don't go in depth and they're just winging it and yeah. I mean, that's what I think. I think that's why there's such like uh, such a difference of just adults that like go through. I mean, they have such that's a good mindset. sentence. Such a difference of adult. Uh, there's like a, a different spectrum of like adults. Oh yeah. Of yeah, just yeah. like people that act a certain way and people that don't act a certain way. And like, I mean, a lot of that's just how they grow up and what mm-hmm. decisions their parents make. It's pretty wild. It is pretty wild. A lot of, a lot of what you learn as a child is just what you watch your parents do. Yeah. It, which is, which is bonkers. That's bonky. To think Kong. that like a lot of how your child develops and the way they'll act and like their values and things and yeah. all that sort of stuff. It's just them watching me. It's like Makaya watching me and Jess. She could be watching this in the future. Hey, what's up, Kai Lou? <laughs> what's up? Okay. Do you remember when we met? 
when we met. I do. That's nice. So I do. I actually do remember. I do remember because yeah. you complimented me, and I'm a big word. That, that doesn't guy. sound like me. After I like roasted you for being single this whole time, <laughs> I'm like, this was your compliments that you said to me. <laughs> no. So basically, we met probably 2018, 2017, 2017. It would have been. It was 2017. 2017 VidCon. 2017. Yeah, 2017 VidCon. 2017 VidCon. I yeah. watched these guys, and I I've told you the story before where. I watched you guys, you and Jess, kind of like at your very beginning of everything. And at that time, I was when going... When did you find... What video did you find of us? It was like early, early on. Because we we both did stuff, I think, through Awesomeness TV back in the day. Oh, yeah, So, like, yeah, I already yeah. knew you just from, like, yeah. I'm on their channel, you're on their channel. But I, I think that's you. probably where I found you. Oh, okay. But then at that time is when you and Jess were, like, starting to, like... <laughs> did you not hear me? Just I just you? took it. You just had to... I just like, took no, it. No, no, and no, that's, no. that's true, too, probably. Like, you... Yeah, I know. I knew. I didn't know your name, but I knew like I had seen you probably your videos awesome or something. Well. Yeah, or something. Before. Yeah, because like when you came up to me, I like knew you were another YouTuber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah so yeah, at that time, you guys were just like meeting and like starting to film and stuff. And I was going through a breakup. Why is this? This is so. I just mm. sounds like I'm the. It sounds I just, like I just go through it. it. Sounds like you're <laughs> super single. <laughs> it does, it does. <laughs> but I was going through a breakup at the time, and then I remember watching you guys, mm -hmm. and like you guys were just having fun, and like you guys were both, you know, you're like going to church, and like you guys were just both like nice people, and that just came through on the screen. And I remember going through the breakup, and I was like feeling. It was at the beginning, and I was feeling bad, and then I saw you guys, and I think this is probably a lot of people's when they watch and their feelings. But I saw you guys, and I was like, oh. Like my breakup's not, it doesn't matter. Cause like I, I will, I have like something cool to look forward to. Like if I find, Dang. you know, like a good relationship. I didn't know this. I feel like I've told you that before. Did I say no, you that? You haven't? I don't think so. What, I feel like, Kevin? Maybe no. I said it to Jess or something. You probably. Probably. But like, yeah, I was like, oh, like, and that's what like made me like you guys and watch you guys more. It's just like, oh, you guys are just having fun. It's like wholesome. Like mm -hmm. you guys are just being fun together. And it's like, oh, like. I instantly was just like, I don't feel bad about my situation that I'm going through. Like, because I want to like, look forward to like something good because you guys are like promoting just by naturally being yourselves, like a good relationship. Dang bro. Yeah. And so that's why okay, that that's deserves why I, a little brighter side handshake. Right there, there we go. That's yeah. why I went up to you guys. Cause we're both at VidCon. I saw you guys and I was like, I'm just going to say like, what's up and I like you guys' stuff. Like, I don't care. Like, I don't feel like... Yeah, but there was a little group there, right? There was a group. Seb there was, was like there group. too. Well, Seb was hanging with us. I yeah. was with you guys. I think and I was with... You were with I was like, with Corinna. You was with Corinna. I remember you were I was walking with shirt. Corinna and I think it was just me and her. We are just walking because we just went out to VidCon and got like kicked out because we... I vlogged it too. That's so... Dude, literally LA is the weirdest... Yeah. Yeah. Thing. But we just like, went I up and like... We dropped something off at the... So I saw you guys as we're going up to the room, drop something off. And I was like, oh, if they're there on the way back, I'll say hi to them. We we're still there. And then we came back down. You guys are still there. And I was like, wait, what were we doing? Just talking to people, just talking like amongst yourselves. It was I you, remember. Jess, Seb, and maybe someone else. No, I was us three. I remember we were in the lobby and then we were just talking, having a good conversation. And then I saw this dude dart over to you guys. You were wearing a blue, white, red shirt. Oh, I remember. And Seb was like a fan of you or something like yeah, that. Yeah. And so I went and said like, oh, I love you guys' stuff. Blah, blah, blah. And like, then he I'm went not, to you and I'm he was like, like bro, I love, your, I love your stuff. Yeah. And then Seb was like, oh, I've known like your music and like I watch your videos. And yes, I was like, sir. oh, cool. And so we all like exchanged. I think, I think we followed each other on Twitter. Maybe. Snapchat. Snapchat. I would, I would snap you. Because I have an embarrassing story, but I'll tell you later. Yeah, and then just from there. Yeah, Seb, this isn't your podcast. <laughs> from from there. Just take your mic, switch it off. I think, <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> I think like, it was probably like a few months later. It was like months after that interaction that like, we actually all kind of like came back together again. Yeah. For like a video at like the snake store, which was. Oh my gosh, channel. that was like the, the inception of. Yeah, we, we all filmed at like the snake shop and we all had like huge snakes on our neck. Yeah, and I then we that. just went to go eat after. I, and then we just kept hanging out after that. And you want to know stop. what that, my memory of that when like Seb invited us to this, do this video and like it was, what I was it? like, a part of me was like, I'm like, what am I doing here? 
What? I hate snakes. Dude, that this was scary. I, I was ter- and I'm like, why am I doing this video? This is but I'm like, it was we were doing it for Seb, so obviously we we're gonna be in it and stuff. Yeah, I, I remember like, though. We I remember like Seb's a- like adventure, this snake guy making this video with like yeah. and he's pulling out these massive like anacondas and huge. Things. They're and like, like two hundred pounds and they put it on our necks. I remember standing there, just met you guys again, and like I was like, I'm gonna pass out because the guy wanted to take it off me and it was like it was like put it. It was like passing Dude, it, me those out. Those things are heavy, yeah, so heavy. And like everyone, like the guys, like laughing at me, like, "Bro, get it off! I can't breathe, dude." Uh, but yeah, that was. And then we just kept hanging out ever yeah. since. And then you guys moved away. Well, that was a long, like three years that just <laughs> like that we went through hung all out that and stuff. then we moved away. <laughs> no, no. But you want to know the first video? What? Other than that one, because obviously that was the first video we were in together. Yeah, but. The first video that you were in on our channel mm. was that when you and Seb put the tattoo presentation. That together. was the first one. I'm pretty sure that was the first one. I remember that one because like we did that and we like did really good stuff like to like give, yeah, yeah, yeah. give good content and everyone just had fun and I think that's when we all kind of like click like oh this is mm-hmm. like fun off camera but also like fun, like in videos. Yeah. For anyone who hasn't seen that video, basically yeah. Jess and I were talking about like, Oh, maybe we should get tattoos. And I think Seb already had a tattoo at that point. And bad and, boy. And this guy's littered with him. So you guys were like, Oh, we should try and convince you guys. And we decided in a video that they were going to create a presentation yeah. and show up at our house, put the PowerPoint presentation up on our TV screen. Yeah. And we were just going to vlog the whole thing of them trying to convince us to get a tattoo. Yeah. And it was, it was funny. And dare I say, it worked. It did work. Daddy's got it his first one. Bit. It's not weird if I call myself daddy because I'm actually a dad. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's weird. Yeah, okay. Would cool. it be weird if I say it? No. I probably will pass. Um, I'm pretty sure you said it at the start of this I did. thing. So <laughs> I for sure did. Yeah. That's my bad. So thank okay. you. Thank so you. in brighter side fashion, mm-hmm. I have a question. Yeah. Hit me with it. I have an answer. How do you personally turn a negative situation into a positive one Mm. because we all go through it what's like your do you have like a personal route that you always take is it dependent on what it is i just go to gary v's instagram (laughs) just just watch some of his scroll through gary v gratitude no and some sometimes it's like honestly yeah yeah, inspo quotes are like whoa that's true yeah yeah that that just switched that just Um, switched my mind okay what What were you laughing at over there because i said whoa I say whoa, dude. That's something in my that he mind. Says. When you guys think of things, is there is it your voice? Like think of like, hey, what are you doing? Is it? Can you hear? Like, are we thinking of words when we think that? Or are we just thinking of like the? Dude, like, what you know are you saying? on? Are like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. I, I think I know what you're saying. Like, like yeah, when yeah. you think your thoughts in sentences, do you hear your own voice? Are you saying it like with your voice, or is it you're just oh. thinking like the content of each meaning of the word that you're saying? I hear my voice. Yeah, you hear your voice. I think so. I don't think I try. hear my voice. Uh, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I do. It depends if I'm like if I'm replaying conversations in I in my head, which happens a lot. You can hear your voice. I am like really thinking through what I'm gonna say. That's Bonky Kong. Bro. That's him. He made that up. I yesterday. made that up yesterday. Like I said, bonkers. Bro, someone said that's bonkers. I'm like, that's Bonky Kong. I actually said I just earlier, watched the Mario movie. I saw it earlier and you didn't catch it. Did you? Yeah. Dang. That's good. That's you how you know it, really, it. That's how you know it works. You said it's it flowing. in the, You said yeah. it in this? What? Yeah, it's, it's Bonky Kong. Um, what so was the you, question though? How do you turn a negative situation to a positive one? For me, I definitely think it's more so comes down to like my faith. Mm. And knowing that at the end of the day, like a lot of the things that I think are problems are actually just like pretty trivial Mm. in my life. Like, yeah, you know, I don't know something that can be like really annoying. Like I take the turn in our Tesla and road rash on the curb on the rim. And I'm like, dude, it's going to cost like $800 to fix because you know, whatever it will. Yeah. And it's like, and these things that are, you know, like obviously 800 bucks is 800 bucks and it's like annoying. Yeah. But I'm like, I don't have to do this yet. Like the car still drives fine. Yeah. Gets me to from point A to point B. Have a car. When I want to fix yeah. it, I can fix it. You know what I mean? Like that yeah. sort of stuff. And it's like, that's not actually the important thing. And that's like a very small thing. Obviously there's like very negative situations like yeah. a breakup or something like that. That's a Why'd lot Why'd you harder. point at me? Because you just <laughs> talked about a breakup. <laughs> that's true. 
No, I, I feel like I do the same exact thing of like putting it in perspective of like, mm-hmm. okay, this is what it is. I'm still okay. Still yeah. healthy. Still good. Mm-hmm. This, that, and especially it's like, even that helps even, and especially like when it comes to like my faith, I'm, I don't know, just thinking it and thinking about all these things and like the perspective of eternity, mm. like even our life and how many problems and things that can come up and issues we deal with and all yeah. these things that make our life actually like hard. Yeah. Are, will end up really being such a blip in the scope of eternity. Yeah. So, um, it's just kind of like holding on to hope. I think at the end of the day. Yeah. And no. having faith. Then fe. Then fe. That's, That's true. Bro, I literally just shouted out the <laughs> hat company in this. Oh. Denfe dot site. I'm taking photos. Okay. Oh, okay. Bro. <laughs> Denfe dot site. That's true. That's Let's true. Go. That's a sponsor. Oh. Sev's hats. Yeah, sponsor me. <laughs> well, no, you have merch for this though. I do. Yeah, I'll do cutaway, so. Oh, uh, uh, okay. But okay. anyway, yeah, I feel like faith does add a lot, even like when I think of things too, mm-hmm. of just obviously putting things in perspective, but also like remembering how many other just straight up blessings to like go mm. back and remember yeah, yeah, or like go back and be like, did I say thank you for that? Because that happened. Like mm. I prayed for it. It came true. Like it was, it happened. And you like, did I take say it for granted thank yeah, you for yeah. that? So like that helps just like stay <laughs> grateful or like have that gratitude always. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Dang. That's true. Dang. Wow. That is pretty good. Okay. I, well, have, I guess we're like, I have another, I guess we got, got pretty deep. That was pretty deep. We're pretty emotional guys. So that is true. He's single. If you're watching, that's true. I think they get that part. At least yeah. Out. I think that, we, that might we be the running. It? Did we mention be, it? That might be the running. Sorry, did theme. we mention it? <laughs> hey, but this is brighter side. So that's okay. <laughs> okay. How, how do we turn a negative situation into a positive? <laughs> Let's go to Gary B. <laughs> Okay, I, I have a closing question for you. Yeah. In the spirit of brighter side again, is there like a story or a time where someone else's kindness has mm. made a big impact on you? Mm. There's one, my buddy Arden. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher it because he's had it so well. But mm-hmm. he came up to me one time and he was like, "Dude, you know what you remind me of?" And it's it was the first. It's, I think it was the first mention in the, in the Bible of like someone having the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was an artist mm-hmm. and I forget what the person's name was, Yeah, but he basically was like, you're just like really pouring into my like creativity and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And he was like, I don't know why, but I, f- I have this like connection with that story in the Bible and you and that yeah. like. God has given you a gift in creativity and art and it's something that, you know, that you're using and now and going to use for, for good in the future. And just like, yeah, it was just like a really cool moment that really impacted me. Yeah. That what, was like, like recent ish. What, what did you like just from him being kind and like saying something like that to you? Like what, what did that like do for you? Um, really put, put it into per, per really put into wow oh my gosh i literally <laughs> dude that's okay that was like the you know when it goes like yeah i saw it in real life yeah, it, was, yeah. it was cool to see gosh it put it into perspective for me um that a lot of times especially for someone who is like a creative person mm-hmm. and that tends to tie a lot with like how emotional you are and a lot of creative people can like struggle with depression or anxiety and stuff like that yeah and a lot of times I, over the years, I've thought of that as such like a negative mm-hmm. on like I deal with depression, mm-hmm. but if I, that is kind of a byproduct of just how emotional I am as a person. Yeah. But also the byproduct of that is my ability to be creative and do things that a lot of other people can't do. Mm. So being like having like people like encourage that thing in me, Yeah, you know? Yeah. And like see my creativity and all this stuff. I'm like, no, the, the emotions that I have that obviously, you know, there's things that happen that like depression that are sad and really tough to go through about it. But yeah, like I actually don't want to trade that because of what is the positive on the other side of it, which is like me being able to really do what I love and feel yeah. like I have purpose with creativity Dang. and being able to make art and all that sort of stuff. That's cool. And yeah. that's, that's cool that, someone just being kind to you and like saying something that they're probably just thinking. Yeah. 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 And like actually saying it out loud to you Yeah, that that like kind of made you feel more like solid and 
And yeah, it's cool. yeah, it, yeah, it's pretty cool. That's something that I've been like really trying to, and it's one, like you know, obviously like that moment was something that helps solidify mm-hmm. these thoughts that I'm thinking and, and everything. But that's something I've really been trying to put into perspective. Yeah, too. It's like like I guess taking a negative and putting it into a positive. Yeah, too. Like that answers that question as well. Well, that yeah, that's just cool to see too. Like just people's kindness mm-hmm. doing that, and like I think that's encouraging too to to be like, oh, if I'm thinking something, sometimes just say it. Yeah. Say, it, say it to people. Yeah. Do I've tried to do that. Like if I see someone mm-hmm. and I'm like, oh, that's a cool outfit or, you know, whatever it may be. Cause that's hard or to like, do. It's hard to like, especially if it's like an outfit or like a, a stranger. Yeah. I've tried to make a habit more to just be like, yo, I love that shirt that's or like, yo, your style is so sick or something like that. It's obviously few and far between that. I like, yeah. End up saying it, but like yeah. I'm, tr- I try to do it more, and like yeah. Jess would vouch for it. Like I do do it sometimes, which is like it's, that's cool. Yeah, yeah I, it's I cool to like, see someone smile on their face when you say something like that. Yeah, I feel like we sh- we should all try to do that a little more, dude. I love your I, outfit. I, I, hey, thank you, man. I like your hat. Th- thanks, bro. Seb, I love your designs. <laughs> thank you, man. Dude, got, see, bro, it just feels good. Boys, this is the brighter side. I know. I love. Welcome it. to the brighter side, people. Let's wow. go. And that's it. I think. With well, that, I wanted to say one more thing. Okay, what do you? One more say? thing that I loved about you guys. Oh, I love your guys' singleness. Why? Why? It's like it makes me feel better about myself. Yeah. <laughs> this is unwanted it makes me feel singleness. Great. <laughs> makes me feel hey, like I'm absolutely killing. Maybe that's why. That's why we're single. To help. What? Him, to help him feel better. No. <laughs> He's it's like, give me a refund. Wrong. Give me a receipt. No. Okay. What do you? What do you got going on? What's your next thing? Uh, what do I got going on? I'm really just working on content right now. Yeah. Main um, channel. Yeah, we're really building a team right now. Yeah. Uh, Jess and I on like hired a producer. We have a strategy team. They're like all of them are killing it. So you're gonna hit um, it hard in twenty twenty three. Yeah, man. I mean, even like you can kind of see it with the Jess and Gabriel stuff right now, because that's where we're really able there's already been so much momentum there where we're really able to like resource that well to yeah. make it keep going. Yeah. Um, it will take I think a lot of the hard work we're putting in, we'll probably see most of the fruit from in twenty twenty four, to be honest. But um yeah, there's just a lot of things that are in the works. And a lot of this like first, but it's not like, it's not like, Oh, this project or that project. It's more so like behind the scenes to just setting everything up more content and better content. Good. Um, That's cool. And yeah, just really focusing on that. Cause that's really like the driving force of everything we do. Mm -hmm. And I have over the years been so distracted with like, Oh my gosh, I want to start this thing or start that thing or this is cool or music or whatever the thing that may be that yeah, you're, just, you're putting your head down and yeah, I'm more so it. like I need to actually focus up on one thing and, nice. and instead of doing like a bunch of things good, I need to focus up and do one thing really, really great. That Yeah, that's, you know, that's good to then be able to focus a lot on my personal stuff as well. Yeah. And I've already posted a video. Maybe, yeah, maybe, I don't gonna, know when this is coming out. I've probably already posted two videos, but yeah. Yeah. The new stuff's good. Thanks, man. Jesse Gabe stuff. It's roaring. Doing yeah, my, great. I mean, my stuff is like they're big edits, big yeah. like it's, no, you're gonna they're kill like mini documentaries ish in yeah. a way. So those are just a lot. Like I need a team to mobilize on that. Yeah. Um. So we're just we're just trying to get everything dialed. No, get, that's that's good. Yeah. You're doing big things. Thanks, you're gonna man. kill it. Thanks, bro. All his links are down below, people. You got You got anything else? It's, I think that's the brighter side. When is this being posted? Don't know. You don't know? No. But it's out. I mean, you just watched it. This is the brighter side. Thanks for being here, dude. I Bro, appreciate of course, you. Man. I appreciate you. Let's go, guys. Subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Follow him. All his links are down below. And that's it. I'll see you next time. See ya. Bye, guys. Thanks for listening. Bye. Thanks for having me, dude. Dude, let's go. This is good. good.